Let's first begin by creating a file category.js. We don't need to import React because we've simply just returned a function. And we'll return the function category. And we'll destructure inside of the arguments here name. And we'll also return that name. Then we'll go ahead and create a new file called category list.js and we'll follow the same structures we did for our product list. We'll import React and then we'll import Link from Gatsby. Then we'll go ahead and import Category from Category and that is the component we've just created. And then we'll export a new default function and we'll call this Category List. Instead of destructuring products, we'll destructure categories. And if there are no categories, we'll go ahead and return null. If there are categories, we'll return an unordered list and we'll simply map through each of our categories and return the new link to our categories. So each list item must have a key and we'll specify that the key is the slug of each category. Then we will create a link and the path to our link will be slash categories slash category dot slug. And then the contents of that link will simply be our category component and we'll spread in our category. Next on the pages.index.js page, we'll import the category list component and then we will replace our current output of categories and we'll replace that with the new category list component. We'll then pass in categories as a prop and that will be categories.nodes. And then if we switch over to the localhost 8000, we'll now see our categories in our list. And we can see when we click on one of these categories, it takes us to that slug. Next, let's go ahead and add an H1 to the page. And we'll remove the current merchant information and we'll simply just return the business name inside of an H1. 